Hello my beautiful Omoglets, today we are summoning for Pavel, he pretty much just got released, it's like 7 in the morning over here, <laughs> so this video might be going up at a weird time, but I guess who really cares about that after the first 24 hours. Let's get a refresher on Pavel, he's apparently an SSB killer with his destructive pursuit, ignoring, you know, the damage sharing stuff, also speed scaling, increasing damage, same with Storm Bullet, giving himself an extra turn on Soulburn, and an increased attack buff. However, someone in my comments when I was going over him did mention the fact that, like, a counter Charles or some such thing could be his counter, and since Charles and Seaside Bologna are kind of together a lot, whether a Pavel can survive a double dunk from a Charles, it's unlikely as he is a ranger and he doesn't have that good survivability stats, so, you know, we'll probably have to wait a bit to see, like, you know, in a real world situation, and then a pretty basic, basic skill. If they were to buff him a bit and say Storm Bullet can't be countered, then he'd be great as an SSB killer. But as it is, yeah, that's uh, that, uh, that's pretty bad. We also have an artifact going on here, Ducks Noctis, I'm going to say. Uh, okay, 1% at level 1, I guess at total max that goes to 2%. I just don't really see it being super useful for him, since he should be like one of the first ones going. I mean, he does have a massively high base speed, so him going after a bunch of criticals, you know, that I don't really see that happening. For someone else, maybe. Like, my Judge Kisa does S2, S3, that's 8 criticals right there, you know, just just from her turn. So in the right setup, I guess it doesn't sound too bad if you have a lot of AoE criticals. Uh, for Arena though, I'm not too sure, honestly. Regardless, we'll talk maybe more about it if we actually pull it, but let's just start with these summons already. I usually don't ramble this much before summoning, but uh, I guess today was an exception. Just making sure we're on the right banner. Oh damn, we're getting him already? All those frame stutters, we must be getting him. Nope, just an artifact. I was thinking about playing on my iPad. Recently got an iPad because I've tried so many different emulators for Epic 7. I've tried so many different settings within all those emulators and nothing can get it to ever run smoothly. Of course, my phone, iPads, whatever else, runs it perfectly fine. Just seems like no emulators can handle it really well. Helga, Pipe, Goblin's Lamp, Yaksha, Joker. Bad thing with the iPad is it has like this four by three aspect ratio. So, <laughs> on nearly half of the screen is this weird background. Artifact? Oh, this is one of those new ones. Was this one of the interesting ones? Interesting, yeah, but useful? I'm not too sure. 10% chance, I don't like to mess with that. I mean, I guess people mess with chances with like Moonlight Dreamblade and stuff, because that can really screw you up, but just taking less damage? I don't know if that's really going to turn a battle around. Like, I'm okay with small chances if the payoff is worth it. Like, you know, an evade plus an attack buff or an extra turn from like Rihanna or whatever. Rima. Here we go. It is Pavel. Another artifact. I, okay, we're getting another four star though. I, I actually like non artifacts more. Ooh, there we go. Hero time. Not, not Pavel though. Rin. Interesting. Don't have very many Rins at all. Mandolin. This guy, I just don't know like if I should pronounce the J or not. Hazel. Here we go. It's Pavel time. Pavel time, boys. Cub. Dust Devil. Misty Chain. Guard. Double Kitchen Knife Furry. Speed Imprint. Mandolin. James from Team Rocket. Axe. Anchor. Oath Key. Portal. Okay, is it only giving me artifacts now because I'm making fun of the making fun of the dudes or hey it's a hero it's not pavel though silk i think i got my light silk to uh triple s recently haven't decided if i'm gonna get normal silk to triple s yet here we go it's pavel time i can feel it in my bones i say that every time and it's never actually pavel l's fist the best waifu oath key totem spear brand the default level one enemy you instantly annihilate on the first stage of every other fighting game i got nothing for pearl horizon here we go it's oh it's the new artifact thanks a lot spoiler okay Oh, it's one of the new four stars, I guess. Sepul crumb. <laughs> this sounded good until the last sentence. The effect resets at the beginning of the caster's turn. I don't want to think about the the perfect scenario where where I would have to make that work, you know. Aqua Rose. Joker. Is it Pavel time? Ooh, it's artifact time. 
I'll take it. Doesn't sound bad, honestly. Oh, it's a rod of Amaryllis. Hell yeah. I think that's like my third rod of Amaryllis. Sweet. I don't really use it on any of my healers right now, but it's like a really good artifact. At the moment, I'm not really dying anywhere, so I don't see the need for more healing. I'm mainly using Tamarin everywhere these days with Magaraha, so. Uh, lamp, brand, compass. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is spongy and bruised. I think that's how it goes anyway. <laughs> Mandolin, brand, Pavel time, Pavel time, Pavel time. Definitely. Come on, mate. Boom. Magaraha. When's the last time we didn't have to go down to guarantee? I don't think I remember that anymore. That counter attack healer, Elena or something. That was the last time we, I think we, we got her in three pulls, but then our luck completely ran out apparently, because ever since then we had to go down to guarantee for like every single banner. Roman, Mandolin, Misty Chain, Guard, Azalea, Rose, Rima, Guard, Key, almost halfway done now, Candlestick, Delusion, halfway now, Portal. Damn, we're not even getting any four stars anymore. Spear, Rose, Tonfa, Delusion, Cleary, damn son, this dude. There we go, finally. Thanks for giving me Pavel, I guess. Kinda took you long enough this time. Oh, it, it, it's not Pavel. Maybe it's that new artifact. I would take it. So yeah, what, like probably 1.5% once you max out the base artifact. So that's like 18% attack. I don't know, it actually doesn't sound that good, probably. If it was just like flat 18% attack, then yeah, but you have to do the criticals first. So it kind of limits its uh, versatility. Lamp. Here we go. Here we go. No. Lots is like the only hero I don't. And Dingo. Because their imprints are. Oh god. More bad news. You can also do like probably. Two Moonlight Summons. Gotta buy bookmarks. Huh, let's see what, like, guess let's start with four, four? 51 Summons. If we have to go down to Guarantee, we need to get more bookmarks, but let's hope we don't have to. Totem, Sheath, Rose, Ty, Pavel. Oh, nope. Just another artifact. Probably that same one that doesn't actually sound that good. Oh yeah, and it's Ranger exclusive. I kind of completely ignored that fact. Yeah, I wouldn't really know. Like, he should be the first one to go, I guess. I mean, unless you just have a bunch of single... Not... Because, like, the thing is, if someone else goes before him and then he does his, like, AoE, then Bologna's, like, gonna go counter-attack immediately and you kind of don't really want that. So he has to go first, unless you're just gonna do his ult. But then you need an attack buffer. Yeah, I don't know. Montmorency, Aglorxa, Brand, Mandolin, Yaksha, Lamp, Yaksha, Ty, Jinna. All these dudes are being moved to storage now. Man, these last banners have been really bad luck. Like, not only are we having to go down to guarantee all the time, but also not getting anything useful in the 120 summons beforehand. Well, we did get a Rod of Amaryllis, so I'll be happy about that, I suppose. Lamb. Morning. Another morning. Another morning. <laughs> uh, how many three stars have we gotten in a row, though? How many three stars in total? Finally. Just give me Pavel. Come on, I deserve it. Way too many three stars already. Another Magaraha's Tome, probably. Or this stupid stuff. Mandolin. Anchor. Level 1 crook again. Guard. Lamp. Blood. Portal. Guard. Delusion. Dude, what is going on? I don't even care anymore. It's like this every time. Give me some other crap artifact. Four star bullcrap I don't need because I have them all maxed except those new ones which are mostly bad anyway. Okay, I think I might need one more for Water's Origin. I don't know for sure, though. Guard, Jenna, whatever. Another artifact. Yay! Elia's knife. Just give me Pavel, man. I don't want anything else. Fine. Ah, I'll definitely take that. That's a nice pull. Elbrus Ritual Sword. Mine's absolutely not maxed, so that's nice. Okay, summons were worth it now. Ina. Yeah, we gotta go down to guarantee. Well, and we have to buy more bookmarks. Helga. It's your fault. Just kidding, Helga. It's all good. 50. Covenant bookmarks. Rose. Cube. Horizon. Just give me Pavel. I just don't want to go back to the shop, okay? Give me Pavel. And this weird 
new one as well. Delusion, blood, blood, sheath, ains. So we can do that one. Oh yeah, no, we can't do this one. My God, whatever. Another ains and finally, oh my God, what's it gonna be? All excitement has been ripped out because I know this God said it's on the guarantee. Hey, person. Oh my God, it's Pavel. I'm Pavel of the Perland Raiders. Oh, is it Pavel? I'm, I'm sorry. Man, he doesn't even really sound that good. 121 summons for this dude. But at least we can do uh, two entire Moonlight summons, get two entire five-star Moonlight heroes that we do not have, and then everything will be cool. Oh yeah, we should also grab our Molagora. I don't visit this place very much. I always think about if I should use my Moonlight bookmarks, but like... There, there is no special thing going on with Moonlight Summons ever, so... Ah, cool. It's gonna be a three-star. Always love to see those. At least it's a hero and not an artifact. Lol. Attili, I guess. Strike. Oh, man. Another three-star. Cool beans. Axe. I'm not surprised. You can't really be surprised. But yeah, we also have 2020 fan art contest. I, I want to take a look at that real quick. A couple daily quests. <laughs> Access event page one time is a quest. <laughs> That's literally the easiest. Uh, but also enhance equipment. It's not really daily quest. Well, I can't really see too well. They're a little small, but I kind of like the second one on the bottom. The uh, girl reading the book. Looks kind of nice. I don't know how I vote, though. Oh, we can see them bigger here. They're all definitely good, you know. I'm not here to critique anyone's art, but I really like that one. It just looks nice and cozy and relatable. You know, everyone having fun outside, fireworks, you're sitting inside, you know, not. Oh, that's really cute as well. I'm gonna have to go with my initial instinct. Yes. Oh, I can vote for more? Okay. All right, I'll give this one a like as well. Gotta vote for more? Okay, yeah, this one's nice too. I gotta give a like to this one. Look at how creative that is. They have like the scrapbook. Do we just like vote for all of them? Oh no, we're done, unfortunately. It said vote for more art though. I think we can vote for some more tomorrow, so I'll get to everyone eventually. But yeah, we also got a side story for uh, our boy Pavel here. That is a boy, right? I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's a boy but you can never really know. Never mind, we got him. Pavel passed the Perlin Raiders entrance exam with flying colors, but his life in the Raiders has been nothing but awkward. What do we got in here? The usual things. But yeah, I guess that'll pretty much do it. Um, oh wait. Oh yeah, we did do our Moonlight Summons. They were just so uneventful, I instantly forgot about them. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it. Bad summoning session, as per the usual, but I'm not complaining. We did get Elbrus Ritual Sword, and we did get Rod of Amaryllis, and eventually the guaranteed Pavel, but I don't really count him because it's guaranteed. So all in all, it balanced out a little bit there at the end, but the Moonlights were horrible. Yeah, I mean, that's the way the code crumbles. Whatever, it's cool. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. You can leave any thoughts about Pavel as well down there if you want to. Dropping a like, if you to enjoy, is always greatly appreciated, as well as subscribing. That's cool too. I am still playing Arknights. Going to try and have these two coexist alongside each other, even though they're kind of different games. But they both have waifus, so they're pretty much the same game, actually. But yeah, anyway, thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.